White man says to my brown father, go blow up your own country, I'm not buying a car from you. Fires my father, replaces him with another white man. The first time I hear my father cry, my grandmother says a Hail Mary, and he smashes the statuette of white Jesus that we brought with us when we moved to the white neighborhood, where the children broke eggs into our living room, named us loud and dirty, and white father smiled at us the next morning as he mowed his lawn. And now, white man leers at my brown sister, who no one believes is my sister. He likes how exotic and Kardashian she is, all belly dancer hatching from double apple smoke, something entrancing the way she walks, way she talks. White man better keep walking, say the Lebanese men who tell me they will protect my sister. They say they are her big brothers. I say, no, actually, I am her big brother. I am all of her big brothers, and I am her big sister. So they tell me my problem. I'm too white for them too loud and dirty, won't shut up, but they like the way I wear my shorts. My Arabic is too dull of the knife my tongue could open them with, so I let them drive me home. Now, white man asked to use my phone, says I look like a nice white girl, not like those not white girls, winks, do I know what he means, and suddenly, I hate him. It's so easy to hate them. But it's midnight by an alley on Boylston. Strange man has my phone, so I just say, no, I don't know what you mean. And suddenly, I feel very much like a white girl, because I am. But I'm also not. But when I'm scared and I want to be, it's not impossible. It's actually really easy. But white girls still ask me where I'm from. No, where are you really from? When you go back there, do you have to cover up? And their boys love Middle Eastern girls, but oh man, all that hair has to go. So I don't shave anything for weeks, because fuck you. <laughs> but then an Arab man says he just loves a woman with body hair. And I fantasize about setting fire to every individual hair on my body, because fuck you. And my mom says I'll never find a man if I don't get rid of it, but she also tells me to be less American, so less white. But I am white. So is she, but she watched people die, and still white people called her the smelly immigrant. White people invite me to their potlucks, ask me to bring my mother's food, they like me. Except when I'm angry and they don't like me or they don't like my brown family, I don't look like most of my family. I look like the people who hurt my family. The census classifies Middle Eastern people as white, but if we can be called terrorists and white people can't, then are we really the same? Is the difference between Guantanamo and an acquittal just a pair of parentheses? I can be safe in spaces others are not, but invisible when my white friends make bomb jokes and they say, we deserve it. Maybe I am the insurgent Hollywood says I am. Maybe they're not safe from me, from my tongue, and it's rage living in the space between all my loud and my too much, and it's funny, it's the only thing white people and my people agree on when they look at me.